If you've ever wished you wore a different colored garment for a photo shoot, then this tutorial is for you. You're about to learn how to change colors from one to another, and you'll discover three different ways to do it so you can find the exact color you need. So here's the original image we're going to be working with, and here's a different color. How cool is that? Now check this out. Here's a different color as well. Pretty cool. All right, so let me show you how I did this. And just like with the other tutorials, this image is in your resources folder. If you want to practice fixing the tonal adjustments, the raw file should be imported into Darktable already. And here's the tone curve adjustment I made for this image. All right, so let me show you how to change the colors. The most difficult part of this process is making a selection of the target garment that you want to change the color of. Now, for this particular image, it's extra difficult because the garment is the same color as the background. And if we try and use select by color, well, that's going to select the background. And if we try the fuzzy select tool, that's not going to work because the colors are right next to each other. So again, it's going to bleed into that area and it's going to take a long time with that particular selection tool. So the tool of choice for this would be either the quick mask mode or the foreground select tool. So I think I'm going to go ahead and go with the foreground select tool here and I'm going to go ahead and make my initial outline here to start the selection process. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start targeting the colors, the contrast, the details and the textures. So GIMP knows exactly what is the foreground. All right, now that we have our selection, we can refine that with our quick mask mode. So shift plus Q P for your paintbrush. And then I'm just going to paint with white and black to add and remove from the selection. All right, I'm going to go ahead and zoom out now that I have my selection. It's not perfect, but I can always refine it with a layer mask later on. So the first thing we're going to do is duplicate this layer. And the first method for changing a color is pretty simple. We're going to go up to colors and select hue, saturation, and then you can adjust the color with the hue slider here. You can make it brighter or darker with lightness and adjust the saturation. Now, this is not my favorite method for changing the color. Let's try another method for this next step. We're going to try creating a new layer. Let's make sure it's filled with transparency. And then we're going to choose our color here and you can choose any color you want. I'm going to go ahead and go with this dark orange color and then fill it in with your bucket fill tool. Go ahead and click inside of the selection and that will add the color to that layer. All right, so that's not really working out too well. So let's go ahead and blend that in with the layer below. Let's go up to mode and select HSV hue and boom. We now have, well, it's not really orange. It's more tan. So what you can do if you're not getting the color that you want, go back into the blending modes here and try one of these other values. Let's try color. All right, so that's more orange than tan. And that's another way to change the colors of your garments. And let me share with you one more. I'm going to go ahead and put this layer back to normal. So let's go ahead and turn this layer off and grab our duplicate layer. And then we're going to go up to colors, colorize and boom, you have a new color. So this light blue color is the default color for this particular tool. Just click right here to choose another color or you can use your eyedropper tool here to select a color from within the photo. How cool is that? I love it. Now, the other thing you can do here is you can apply a blending mode from here if you want to do that to see if you can get the color that you want. Or you can also adjust the hue, saturation and lightness from here like we did in the first step.